All right, so we have the last four questions for the review uh, for the test over multiplication, division, and volume. And these are all volume questions. They do have some multiplication in there, but those shouldn't be a problem if you work them out. So let's first look at number 10. The volume as a rectangular prism is 252 cubic centimeters. The square base, so it's a square base, so I know they're gonna be the same. That's six centimeters long. What is the height? So I need to find the height. So 252 is the volume, so I'm gonna put that over there. The length is six, which makes also the width six because of square base. So I need to find the height. So what we do first is six times six is 36. So I need to figure out what 36 times what gives me 252. So I'm just gonna start over here with my 252. And I'm just going to guess around 5. 6 times 5 is 30. We'll do standard algorithm for this. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 5. I'm going to take 5 groups of 36 out from that. And I have 180. So I'm taking those 180 from that because I already put those in groups and see how many I have left. Uh, 2 minus 0, 5 minus 8 I cannot do, so I'm going to regroup and have 72. So then I'm going to see if 36 times 2 equals that 72. 2 times 6 is 12, carry my 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1. So I know I can take two more groups out and have 0 remaining. So I took 5 groups out and I took 2 groups out. So 2 plus 5 is 7. So my height is going to be seven centimeters. The height is seven centimeters. Okay. Number two, number 11. So this one is a storage box. So again, we're looking at volume. The box has a square base, the size are two feet, square base. So we're going to start with the formula, length times width times height, and it gives us the height is 4. So let's start by inserting the 2 for the length and the width because it's a square base. The height is 4 feet, so I'm still trying to find volume. So next I'm going to do 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down my other 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so the volume is 16 cubic feet twelve the two different expressions to volume so we have the same shape for twelve and thirteen we just got to break it up differently and then see if the volumes are going to be the same they should be the same doesn't matter which way you break it so the first one we're going to split it vertically we're going to name that piece A, this piece B. So I have a length times width times height, the volume of A right here. I'm going to do the volume of B right here. And I'm going to add those two together and get a total of volume. So first, my length of A. My length of A is going to be this measurement right here. But it says 10. I did not use the 10 because that would be the whole length. So I'm going to look up here. It does not say there, but it does say the back of that. So the front's going to be 4, and the bottom is going to be 4. So my length of A is 4. My width is my front to the back. Does not say there. These are all the same angle, so I know they're all widths. So 6 would work, because that is going to be 6 inches, 6 inches, 6 inches. My height, the whole height of A is going to be 8, and that is what I used so that is a good. My length of B, I did not use the whole thing because I cut it off right there. So I cut off four, 10 minus four. So my length of B is going to be six. My width is not going to change. So that's going to be six. And my height does not give me my height over here. But I know my whole thing is eight. The height is eight here. And this height is five. But I need this height. So what I can do is take eight minus that five, 
and I'm going to be left with three there. So my formulas are complete then. All that you got to do now is saw. So six times four is 24. So I'm going to take 24 times eight. And now over here, I have, uh, let's just do six times six is 36. 36 times three. Sometimes it uh, helps to do the first and the last. This time it's not going to help too much. We're gonna, I think I'm going to have to do them all on paper anyway. So 24 times eight. Eight times four is 32. Eight times two is 16 plus three. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 192. Over here, let's work out 36 times three. Six times three is 18, carry my one. Three times three is nine, plus one is 10, 108. So next, that's my volume for B, volume for A. Add those together. Zero, re regroup. 300 cubic inches is my volume. Next, find the volume. So next I have to do it two different ways. So the first way is vertically. This time, I'm going to cut it this way horizontally. And since I'm going to label those X and Y just so I don't confuse anybody. So I'm going to put uh, X length times width times height, Y length times width times height. Okay, X, my length of X is across here. So it's going to be four. My width did not change going to be six the whole time my height from here to here it's not written there or here so i have to look back here and that is going to be five next y my length of y is going to be 10 my width did not change still front to back is six whoops i wrote it twice And my height, so I do not know this height right here. So I can go over here. The whole thing was eight, but this was five. So eight minus five, that has to be three. So my height over here is three. So I like these numbers a lot better because I think I can do these mentally now. So we're gonna look at the six times five is 30 so I'm going to bring down my 4 times 30 then 4 times 30 is 120 over here I have 6 times 3 is 18 18 times 10 is 180 so x equals 120 cubic inches y equals 180 cubic inches I need to add those together. Three hundred cubic inches. And you'll notice after I done with those problems, I got three hundred cubic inches there. I have three hundred cubic inches there. They're the same, so I know I did it right. If they didn't match up, that means I probably did one wrong. So I have to go back and figure out what I did wrong. You should have the same volume. The shape did not change, just the way I cut it, okay? So I suggest you keep working these problems over and over. Hide the answers, try them out yourself. Uh, once you try them, look at the answers and see how you did. If you didn't get it, try it again, all right? These are the same shapes, pretty much the same types of questions you're gonna see Thursday or Friday on your quiz. All right, guys, good luck.